Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today we will be covering super keyword in Java. So the super keyword in Java is a reference variable to which it is used to refer the immediate parent class object. Whenever you create an instance of the subclass, an instance of the parent class is created implicitly which is referred by the super uh, reference keyword. Okay. So it is nothing but the it is super keyword is used to call the variables methods and the constructors of the super class okay so it, the usage of this uh, super key java super keyword is so this there are three uses it can be used to uh, call call the immediate parent class instance variable so let me write it over here instance variable and it is super keyword is uh, can be used to invoke the in immediate parent class method parent class method and again it is uh, super can be used to invoke the immediate parent class constructor okay so these are the three uses of the super keyword we will see uh, one by one each of them okay uh, let me decrease the font size okay so first we will see uh, how we can use the super keyword to refer the immediate parent class instance variable okay so let me get, get into my ide and i will create one new java uh, sorry one new java class uh, i will name it as super keyword okay now in, let me increase my font size and i will uh, import my main method okay uh, so let me take one example so that you guys can understand how we can use the parent class variable as in child class okay uh, let me declare my parent class over here I will uh, write animal declare one class name as animal and I will write this okay uh, now inside my animal class uh, why I'm getting error duplicate class found okay 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 wait 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 in our previous code we have used this animal class I guess that's why we are getting uh, error over here okay 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 let me change my class name so something else so that we can okay now now it's okay fine uh, inside my animal class I will declare one string color uh, quit string color color uh, which is equals to white okay so this is my parent class and now I will create one class name as dog I, I guess you can take anyone any animal you want okay dog which is extending the anim sorry animals class now inside this class I will uh, write string color which is equals to black okay now uh, wait a second i'm getting okay dog is also uh, let me create it as dogs okay uh, now i will uh, write one method void print c o l o r color which doesn't accept any parameters and inside this method i will write simply system dot print ln my color okay now and I, I will write one more print statement and now this time i will write super dot color okay now you, you you will see what is different exactly difference between uh these two statements uh, let me just create the object of the dogs class dogs obj1 is equals to new dogs okay and inside using this object so i will obj1 dot print color okay now if i run this 
you will see the difference between these two statements one is printing black and one is printing white why so uh, because when we write system dot print ln color the, this this is referred as this line number six and this colors value of this color variable uh, color variable is black and which is getting getting printed on the console and when we write super dot color this super key this super keyword will call this call is getting called to the and uh, parent class parent class is here class animals and they whereas colors uh, value is white okay so super dot color is white and color simply color when we write simply color the that means inside this class we have declared string color black so black is getting printed first and white is getting printed second okay i hope you understood this concept of variables okay and now moving forward uh, we'll see how we can uh, super keyword how we can use super keyword in class methods okay now uh, I will some ch make some changes in this code all itself uh, okay now this time I don't need this string because we don't we, and I will create void eat and inside this I will just simply write eating okay uh, so this is the parent class method and now inside my dogs which is ex extending the animals class extends the animal class uh, I don't I don't need this uh, variable right now and I will declare uh, this print I guess this also don't, don't need anymore okay now inside this I will uh, write void it uh, and I will print dog is eating such, such a uh, random string okay and now I will write bark okay and I will simply print barking and I will, I will declare one more method work okay and inside this I will write super dot eat okay and now uh, after this work method is done I will write bark okay uh, so uh, wait a second let me write this inside this okay now it's okay uh, we have declared one uh, dogs class which is which extends the animal class and inside this we have written void eat and uh, so this is the example of the method overriding as we have dis discussed in our previous videos also so this uh, eat method will print dog is eating and this bark method will print barking uh, now uh, one more method is there name as work which is uh, calling two uh, methods okay super dot eat and now you will see what you what you guys thinking uh, what should printed over here void void dot eat eat whether it is printing dog dog is eating or the eating we'll see uh, let me just comment this out and I will next line I will write obj1 dot work and now if I oops, sorry I open it in debug mode wait 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 it now it's okay huh yes here you can see eating and barking is getting printed on the console why so because uh, when the call is uh, at line number 21 super dot eat will call the immediate parent class okay and uh, eat method we have declared in the parent class uh, it is printing eating and that's why eating is getting print printed on the console and when when we call bark it just simply call uh, the method which is in inside the animal class the dogs class itself okay that is the child class and which is printing barking okay so this is a uh, this is the one use case of the super keyword uh, to call the immediate parent class method okay now we will see uh, how to call the immediate uh, parent class construct invoke no call we will invoke okay so in this example itself i will do some changes so that you guys can understand it clear okay you know what let me comment this out okay and here 
I will comment this also. Okay. Now uh, inside this uh, parent class, I will declare the constructor for this class. Okay. Animals. This is the constructor, and this constructor is simply printing animals is created. Okay. And now uh, inside this uh, child class, we'll write the constructor for this class. Uh, wait a second, it's dogs, not dog. And inside this, we'll write super. And and again, one print statement so that you guys can understand where the code flow is going. Dog is created okay and now if I comment this out and I will simply run this because here you can see I have not uh, used that object and called any method and uh, still now something is getting printed on the console that that is because when uh, as we have discussed in our constructor video the constructor will get uh, called automatically whenever the object of that class is created okay so here we are creating the object of the class so that the constructor will get called automatically okay so what is happening over here uh, in the line number 37 whenever we create an object of that class obj1 the call is pass to this line number uh, 28 okay now this line number 28 is executed line number 29 we have written super okay and if you hover over this it says that uh, animals class is there and this call is passed to this animals class constructor and this constructor will get executed first okay and it is printing animals animals created so the first line is animals created it is printed and secondly it is printing uh, dog is created that's why it it prints dog is created okay one more thing is there uh, if you don't if you don't write this uh, uh, this super at line number 29 it that again it is uh, writing animals is created why so because whenever you create it, whenever you create the child class object and if that child class is extending one parent class that, then in that case Whenever you create the create the child class uh, constructor, it will automatically call the constructor which is there inside the parent class. Okay, so if I don't write this super super over here, again it it will call the an animals class constructor. If we are if you have declared this constructor inside that class, if you don't have declared, it will not call. Okay, so this is the idea behind the super keyword. Uh, I hope you understand the super keyword in Java. Uh, thank you for watching this video.